All right, guys. Uh, good morning, everybody. What a what a what a bull market that we are starting. We had a really good trading day, actually. I had a really really good trading day, and uh, the market is really ripping higher at, as we are speaking. Um, so I had a really good day on Tesla, AMD, and especially a a Nvidia. Hi, traders. Do you want to know what it feels like to trade on a trading floor, trading with so many other traders? Motivating, fun, amazing, inspiring. Join me and our high-performing traders in San Diego this March 2nd and 3rd. This is a packed two-day event with proprietary strategies and advanced educations that we're teaching in bearable traders and peak capital trading. Get your tickets now. The space is limited. See you in San Diego. So the, the biggest news that we had uh, that the market, uh, so the Intel gap down 10% just because the inventory piled up and you know they had the earning. And uh, it was kind of a sympathy play with other uh, semiconductors as well. This is what we call a sympathy play. Sympathy means that if the one big company in one sector is getting hit really bad, it means that the other ones might actually get uh, hit because just the whole sector is weak. So what happened here was that uh, AMD and NVIDIA, which are chip makers, you know, they kind of gapped down a little bit uh, with uh, and, uh, Intel. Um, so but you know as we saw and you know market is really strong this the last couple of weeks and you know the market kind of bounced back and amd and nvidia bounced back as well so i had a really really nice trade on nvidia you know very nice uh, abcd pattern that we had uh, over the long term so that was a, you know that was one abcd pattern that i missed trading it there was another one that you saw a very solid support above the previous day close you know a lot of big asks where people mentioning at above 200 i actually saw that uh, and actually I have this uh, I can actually bring it as well I posted on Twitter so the huge ask at 200 so that caused me to go long because we saw this big signal of the breakout at 200 let me bring that one here yeah so it's here I'm actually bring it here so as you see this big the large asks which are very very bullish signal they were staying up there so that was a really really good sign to go up and then someone mentioned in the chat room for very very long that hey guys you know this is a huge ask or stacking up so that was a really long i went long on that heavy size and then we really did the very very nice uh, breakout and as you see we went all the way up to 202 and i partialed out do i still have it oh actually i still have it yeah, I still have a thousand share of NVIDIA. So that was a really nice breakout of uh, even 202. I kind of missed uh, trading it. So that is um, that is the NVIDIA. AMD, same trade. But uh, the problem with AMD was that AMD popped up and it was very close near the previous day close. And I went long, actually, I went a very heavy size on that. I thought that we're going to pop up to the previous day close. Came down, I added more, popped up. But I got out of it uh, pretty much uh, you know half of my position because I wasn't really comfortable holding this through the pullback. And I got stopped out when it came to the moving average. As soon as it came back up, I went long. Uh, and then this was actually a much, much better trade. I should have really, really waited to trade it like this. Not really here because that, you know, that pullback was a really good entry and uh, popped up. And I still have a little bit of on that as well. And, uh, you know, popped up all the way up to 7560. Uh, so that was the AMD trade and then with Tesla was also a really nice breakout that uh, you know I saw the time and sales breakout this explosion of time and sales uh, for a five minute opinion range break up and one minute opinion range break up you know and those of you who watched the Paris course you know you know what I'm talking about so the you know time and sales was very very bullish I jumped in actually I should have better entry I wish I had side a little bit earlier to get a better entry pop from 163 to 165 so that was a really really nice pop on that and I did another one trade trading it on that that it came up and I got to stop that it, although it came back up it's just this one was really chasing it and now it's trading at uh, 167 so what I did is I actually closed my position the puts on 80 uh, for $25,000 I really couldn't believe that I could get you know one dollar from uh, for the 80 puts on that so that was a really nice trade uh, and uh, yeah Nvidia was the best uh, trade that I really liked that and uh, AMD, uh, I still have actually AMD shares on that, so but I'm still at loss on that uh, first trade. Uh, what else did I do again? Uh, I think I took a try to uh, do a scalp on Apple, which I really didn't like to really uh, uh, chasing it. So that was another trade that on app uh, on uh, on Apple that I really didn't like. Um, what else? Uh, oh, Intel, Intel, Intel. Yeah, yeah, Intel. It was the trade that Brian traded that. So this one was uh, really gapping down for 10%. It was above the weave app. And the last couple of minutes, which Brian always looked into that, dropped. 
and that was uh, like a sign of a weakness always these last couple of minutes i didn't trade it in the first minute and then suddenly squeeze back up i you know i saw okay this is a really nice one minute opening range break up like a squeeze but the price action was really really jerky the time and sales was really just not uniform and the order flow wasn't great so i got out of it here came down squeezed back up to the vwap i went long and then i got stopped out and then i went long again uh, for the pop up and did pop sold some added more and eventually we got a nice uh, pop on uh, Intel, but I overall I just I hated this price action. I went all the way up to 27 28 as well uh, So that was uh, the trading that we did live um, So uh, Brian, I know you traded Intel and you did a really nice uh, 920 yeah. and AMD as well. So is that uh, uh, and your 920 worked really well, huh? Um, <clears throat> well, I did a 920 trade uh, on AMD just a few minutes ago, and uh, I, I I stuck with my trading plan, so caught it off the nine. It went up to the the twenty, uh, or caught it off the twenty, I should say, uh, twenty moving average, and then uh, it went back up to the nine, sold half, and then it just it pulled back a little bit, so uh, I had to stop out of it. That was my. Uh, that's my rule. So unfortunately, it did eventually go back up, but it did lose the 20 briefly. It just and someone mentioned it didn't close below it, but you know, my my trade book is basically if it starts to drop below it, I get out because uh, I just don't know if it's going to recapture it at that point. <clears throat> um, yeah. Other than that, I caught a nice, uh, nice, nice initial move on Nvidia. Uh, again, got stopped out because it really did a significant pullback. I was hoping it would just hold the VWAP on the pullback, but it really dropped a lot, and so I had to stop out of that. Again, following my Nvidia, you see that big that big pop? Yeah, I caught it. I caught Nvidia moving up, so I caught a nice move going up. But then it really, I was thinking it was just going to pull back to the VWAP and continue higher, but it really, it really started to lose it there. So I had to stop out of the rest. Again, profitable trade, but um, you know, just following my rules. And then uh, AI was the other stock I traded. I got that actually off Benzinga because the Benzinga guy was mentioning that AI was uh, was strong and, and moving higher. So I got in just uh, just around 16, and then uh, traded that up to uh, up to uh, you know 1660, 1670 was I think my last exit. So. Um, anyway, it was a pretty decent day overall, and I, had, I, I did take some SPXL long when we started to break out just to, just to trade the SPY. So overall, it was uh, it was a really pretty, good Friday. Uh, decent was, day. Yeah, it was a really, yeah. really nice, decent Friday. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that, and I'll see how it goes. Perfect, guys. Well, thank you right so on. much for watching us, and uh, so these are the remaining positions that i have so these nvidia and tesla puts are going to expire worthless today uh, i have a little bit of a tesla this one for uh, end of march i think uh, the puts and obviously amd and uh, AMD, nvidia i still have it and uh, uh, we yeah we have these positions that uh, we'll see how it goes in the market in the next week have a good day guys and uh, looking forward to see you guys and hope that i can see uh, some uh, many of you are in san diego guys really looking forward to see you in san diego uh, two days uh, live trading workshop and the webinars that we're having. Thank you so much and have a good day guys. Mm -hmm.